Hi everybody, thank you for joining us again. This is our third and final refresh message this week. I'm Pastor Steve Green. Today is Friday, April 9th. We finished off yesterday looking at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses, verse 13. Let's read uh, verse 13 again and verse 14. And the significance of uh, these verses is they show the intimacy or the connection between being sanctified and being saved in the second aspect. He says in verse 13, again, 2 Thessalonians 2, but we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. So salvation, uh, this is the ongoing salvation we experience day to day, um, is through sanctification by the cleansing of our heart and our heart being made holy. We are being sanctified and being sanctified means we are being saved. There are tremendous results that happen for us as our hearts are cleansed. In verse 14, to which he called you by our gospel. This sanctification, this salvation is our calling in life. Praise God for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what our title is, the glory of salvation. This is a wonderful subject. So looking <clears throat> at Philippians 2 again, and we're going to come to a particular way. We want to be really clear, real explicit, really plain um, about what the Bible is telling us here. So we're, we want to use a specific example, and we'll use the example of complaining. Uh, complaining isn't the most important issue in the New Testament, I don't think. I don't think it's the least important issue. It's just an example of something that is human, normal, every day. And if we'll take the step of faith to eliminate that, then our hearts are cleansed and we are saved. Uh, Philippians 2 verse 12, uh, therefore, my beloved, as you've always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your salvation, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and do of his good pleasure. He says, do all things without complaining or disputing or and disputing. So right directly connected with the idea of obedience directly connected with the idea of salvation is the issue of complaining um, we stop complaining by the spirit with the help of the spirit it produces sanctification and salvation in us in first corinthians 10 uh, in verse 8 he says nor let us commit sexual immorality as some of them did and in one day 23,000 fell nor let us tempt christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed by serpents nor complain as some of them also complained and were destroyed by the destroyer. We don't, and none of us want to be destroyed by the destroyer. Complaining, uh, eliminating complain, complaining is a huge benefit to us.